Welcome to the Finance Leadership Program, your pathway to the CGMA designation. This seminar will introduce you to the program and show you how to progress through the learning and eventually into the CGMA case study exam. The program is broken down into three levels, operational, management, and strategic. The operational level introduces essential business concepts and provides a strong foundation in the technical skills in finance and accounting. The management level builds on these core skills and business acumen with more advanced concepts, tools, and frameworks. The strategic level completes your professional skill set with new insights and a valuable toolkit to help you lead at the enterprise level. Your entry level into the program is dependent on your prior education or certifications, which you've already submitted during the registration process. To earn the CGMA designation, you must complete all applicable learning and case study exams from the level you start on. Once you log into the Finance Leadership Program, you'll find yourself on your CGMA Learning Dashboard. At the top of the screen, you can find the level of the program that you're currently working on. This area shows you the current learning topic that you're working on and access to that learning. This area allows you to set weekly goals for yourself, which also provides you with some statistics on your weekly performance. This is a great tool to help you plan for the exam date that works best for you. You can view your overall progress here, which shows how much of the learning in the current level you've completed. The Schedule Exam button allows you to schedule the case study exam date that works best for you. The Messaging Center provides important notifications about the program, including new features or content updates. Competencies are the major subjects that you'll be learning about throughout the program. To complete each level of the program, you must pass all of the competencies in that level. Each competency consists of several subgroups called skill sets. Skill sets show you the objectives that you'll be tasked with. Each of these smaller bubbles represents a skill set. Once you complete all of learning in a skill set, you'll see a check mark inside that bubble. You're able to complete the skill sets and competencies in any order that you'd like, so feel free to take the pathway that makes most sense to you. The pieces of learning that make up a skill set are called topics. Topics are the smallest unit of learning, which go into detail on a particular subject. When you first arrive at a topic, you'll see that it gives you a brief introduction on what that topic will cover. You can see all of the topics that will be covered in the skill set by clicking the View More Topics link. Unlike skill sets and competencies, you must complete topics in order, as they oftentimes build upon each other. Topics consist of both textbook-like information as well as application of the learning in real-world scenarios. As you progress through the learning, you'll be presented with knowledge checks along the way. These are questions intended to demonstrate how well you're picking up on the subject matter. Knowledge checks can be given in several different formats and allow you to retake them if you get the answer incorrect. Feedback is provided to give you the reasoning behind the correct answers. You'll notice a purple bar at the top of your screen. This bar shows you how far along you are within your current topic. When you reach the end of the topic, you'll see a Next button. That takes you to an assessment. An assessment is given after every topic and measures your proficiency on that topic. After you answer each question, you will be told if it's correct or incorrect. You must pass these assessments to show that you fully grasp the material given. Once you've completed all topics within a skill set, you will be told if you've passed that skill set or if you need to revisit some of the learning. Some topics have pre-assessments, which allow you to assess out of having to complete the topic if you pass a short assessment. There are also a few non-assessed topics in each level that require you to go through the topic but do not have an assessment at the end. After completing all of the skill sets in a competency, a business simulation assignment is unlocked. This assignment bridges the learning you received in that competency with real-world scenarios. All BSAs are linked to a single scenario, placing you in a key role within an organization where you will be required to complete a series of tasks. 
These tasks will provide you with the opportunity to integrate the learning you have acquired within a competency area, apply it to a variety of realistic business situations, and help develop the skills you need to succeed in the case study exams. You also receive feedback at the end of each task, whether you provided a correct or incorrect answer. These assignments do not require a passing score. When we revisit the competency list after you've passed your assessment, you'll now see that you've received a check mark for completing the competency. As you progress through the program, you'll want to make sure to schedule your CGMA case study exam. The exam is given four times a year, in February, May, August, and November. It's important to schedule your exam early, as testing centers often fill up quickly. You'll be notified when registration opens for each exam window. About six weeks prior to your exam, you'll also have access to the case study review course, which will help you prepare with mock questions, personalized feedback, and a full analysis of the pre-seed material. By clicking on your name at the top of the screen, you're able to access your account details, take a quick tour of the finance leadership platform, and provide feedback on the program. Once again, we thank you for joining us on your journey through the Finance Leadership Program.